clock in, clock out from nine to five. Clock in, clock out like a nine to five. All I wanna see is a dollar. Nothing brightens my day more than a car park. So I open this up. I don't know what this is. I got something else that's not coming so small. So I've been having an overheating problem and I'm trying to see if this will solve it. But it is the panel for my freaking fuse box. So I can finally put that on because it's been annoying. This will be the fastest install in history right here. Installed. <laughs> I hate looking at that in my Jamaica. Oh, that was annoying. D C. Gang back in it, man. Hey, so as y'all know, I've been having hella freaking overheating issues with my freaking Integra, man. So I felt like today is a good day to shave for one. I had to paint myself. The boy looked a little rough today. Got to brush my hair. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. But I feel like today was a good day to go ahead and take the thermostat out and run it with no thermostat because. I just want to drive this car from point, from point A to B, you know what I'm saying? I know it takes longer for it to get to operating temperature because the thermostat works for, pretty much how the thermostat works is it allows the car to get to a certain temperature, whatever the thermostat is ready for, which is pretty much operating temperature. And when, and then that, and then that sense it stays closed. So when it gets so hot, when it reaches operating temperature, it opens and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if mine is opening, honestly. Like, I'll, so what happens with mine is, it'll get hot, it'll get all the way to like the H if it wants to. And I have to turn the car off, and then when I turn it on, it'll go back down. So like the thermostat will open. So, I mean, maybe it could be a thermostat sensor or something, I don't freaking know. Well, there can be no sensor because the thermostat opens by itself automatically. Like, I don't think there is no sensor, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure a thermostat is just thermostat. Like it opens and closes and that, that's what it is. Nothing tells it to, it's just from the temperature itself. So, I'm gonna take my thermostat out. We're gonna run no thermostat, see how that see how that goes. Cause we gotta test it without it being in there. So I wanna see how, how cool it does run to see if it could be a different issue. You know what I'm saying? Cause it could be something else. So we need to run it without a thermostat for one. So we need to get some kind of uh, let me see. Here we go. Boom. Orange juice bottle. Bam. I'm gonna use this because this is probably how much is in there. I gotta lift the car up. I gotta drain as much as I can out. And I know something's still gonna come out from the actual where the thermostat sits, but that's okay. But we're gonna take it out. We're gonna run the car without a thermostat. So I need to actually go to my storage. So that's about, you know, a nice little 30 minute drive. So we'll go ahead and go there, see how she runs. So we're gonna run without it. And then before that though, I'm gonna run the car and I'm gonna just let it sit there warming up. At the same time, I'm gonna come over to my stove in my kitchen and I'm gonna put the thermostat in a pot and I'm gonna time lapse it. We're gonna see if it even opens. So the thermostat can be busted. Cause you know how O'Reilly's is. You know what I'm saying? In the auto zone, you can get some faulty parts. So we're gonna double check to see if that's good. So we're gonna check both ways. So that's today's video. We're gonna see if it actually runs good without the thermostat in it, how long it takes to get to an operating temperature, does it just stay cool the whole time, and we're gonna see if our thermostat is actually working. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna continue to pour cooling in it as it bleeds out. So yeah, hopefully this fixes my overheating problem. I know it's not the best, somebody's gonna say, let me move out of the car. Somebody's gonna say that, oh, you shouldn't do it because the car's gonna run cool, it's gonna take longer to get to operating temperature, blah, blah, blah. Okay, look, check this out. It's cheaper for me to go ahead and take the thermostat off for right now than to buy an upgraded radiator, which is gonna cost me a skunk tool, is like 200 bucks, or any other one, it's gonna cost me more. So, I'm taking a cheap route, just trying to get this from point A, to, I mean, from point A to point B. So I'm taking the thermostat out, I am in Texas. It's like 96 degrees on the regular, you know what I'm saying? So, why not? I hate to, my, my tank gauge gets all the way up to the H and I have to turn the car off when I'm driving, bro. So, yeah, we gotta fix that. Temp. Staying cool, but I think we just gotta have a, a coolant leak. 
That leak. I ordered that part in already though. I can't figure out where these little drops are coming from. We gotta get a new uh, VTEC solenoid. That's already on order. It should be here in a few days. Uh, we gotta get another radiator, so I gotta order that. And uh, I gotta figure out where that leak's coming from. Let me stop the car. I know it's, it's it's running cool, so we ain't got to worry about that. But I do a driving test in a minute. But the real question is, where is this freaking splatter coming from? Because it's coming from over here and it's splattering up. I don't see anything. The oil filter is good. No, the baffles aren't leaking. Well, if you look, I um, have a leak also coming from those, but you can't see it right here. I don't know where it's coming from. Like, there's no moisture at all. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I'm definitely not about to take the valve cover back off to, you know. I gotta get another gasket if I do that. No, 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 no. We'll just run this right now. We'll go ahead and test our thermostat and then we'll go ahead and go to the storage. Take that nice little dry. See how she runs. Make sure nothing's in there. Uh, no tools. Nope, we're good. Dump it up a little bit. I don't know, it's weird. Like, I think it just popped open. Yeah, it just popped open. So, it's still running hot. I don't know. My only assumption is that it has to be, it has to be the uh, the radiator, man. The CS race, the CX racing radiator is just not cutting it. There's no thermostat, so it's staying open all the time. So it should take longer to warm up, but I don't know. I know somebody is gonna tell me, check the bottom hose. Oh, that thing is hot. The bottom hose is hot as hell, and it's like very tall. Pulse. And so I'm gonna just let it cool off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my storage. But uh, y'all see, I got some work ahead of me. See, y'all see how I look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how it's gonna look in a minute. Right there, we got it all cleaned up. I'm taking pictures of this. Anybody need some LS Integra seats front and back together? Let me know. I'll give you a deal on them. Need to get rid of them. Need to get rid of them. These are the ones that came out of White China. If y'all OGs remember White China, my White Integra. These are the ones that came out of it. So I still have them been cooling off, it's been, I think, I was watching some videos and I'm pretty sure I bled it wrong, so, or I didn't bleed it right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a filter, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that when we get to the house. But for now, let's see if this, these, uh, this integra fits in here. All right, we're gonna see if this integra fit. Uh, it's about max. Oh, it fits perfectly in there. Hey, they fit perfectly in here. I mean, it should have been anyway because I took more stuff out, but oh uh, yeah. A little walkway. We Gucci. We Gucci. We right on that thing. So, cool. Well, that part of my day is done. So, better take the integer out. Take it back to the house. And try to bleed the system and see what's going on. Or burp the system, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and move my integer out now. It's a tight little fit. Ugh. Ugh. Tight 
that little fit. Bring some of my son's stuff to my house with me. Set out, and here we are again. Side of freeway. Just enjoying the view, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoying the view. But nah, uh, this shit overheat again. So, I gotta let it cool off. Uh, yeah. I already gave park, I got like five minutes, so it's gonna be a long, long drive home. So I had to get to the house so I can burp the system. I got cooling on me, but it's too hot for me to even try to work with that. I need to just get to the house. Cause now that the cooling is low, it's just that there's air. There must be air in the system too. I was reading a video. I watched a video and it said it could be air in this little your head. I didn't really write. I know that. So yeah, let's make it to the house so we can be good. Back in the room. I literally took the uh, the front piece. So I know what that is. The grill. I took the grill off. There's some more airflow. I think that might be my problem. I think I don't have enough airflow going to that area with that little turbo because now it's straight. I was loud. So, it's cool now, so hopefully it stays this way. We'll see. If so, then I just gotta run this car without a grill or cut it out so it has more airflow. So hopefully this works. It seems to be working. Like I said, I took a, I took this part off of my car and now there's a big old hole for a lot of airflow and it's staying really cool now. So, I'll test it more when I get closer to my house. So that way I don't risk the chance of having a, a, my car getting hot and I gotta pull over on the freaking freeway again because I hate doing that. I was doing it when I first did it, freaking BMW, the gang Charger were racing, went right past me. I was in the wells and I was inside my car, but just the fact that they were going so fast, it's just dangerous when you're on the freeway, you know? So, let's get back. It was working for a little bit, now the temperature's going back up, so hopefully I get to my destination before that. It gets too high. It's climbing up slowly. Also to add, another reason that I know that it's something to do with air in the system is because my idle keeps going up and now it keeps fluctuating, so this is what I have that in there. We know there's air in the system for sure. somebody else with you. Later today, got back. My son here, he in the room playing. We got a new part in. I've been waiting for this from yesterday, so. But here we go. Turbo blanket for the exhaust side of the turbo. To make that, I didn't freaking put the washer things on this. I just put the cover on with bolts. So, put these on. So as I'm editing this, I forgot to close up this video. Thanks y'all for watching, man. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Long story short, I need to get a new head gasket for my car because I blew my head gasket. If my head gasket blew, it failed, whatever the case is. I already ordered another one. It's already in. I got to edit the video for that for you guys. I'm way behind on my schedule on my videos. So y'all stay y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to pump another video out tomorrow. So this one should come out on Monday. So yeah, after Father's Day. So I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Make sure you guys like it. really helps on the channel. You know what I'm saying? If you support me, if you support the channel, if you like watching videos, you just came here to watch the video. Just make sure you leave a thumbs up on my channel and leave a comment. I appreciate it so I can get the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.
so I'm editing this. I forgot to close up this video. Thanks y'all for watching, man. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Long story short, I need to get a new head gasket for my car because I blew my head gasket. My head gasket blew. It failed, whatever the case is. I already ordered another one. It's already in. I got to edit the video for that for you guys. I'm way behind on my schedule on my videos. So y'all stay, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to pump another video out tomorrow. So this one should come out on Monday. So yeah, after Father's Day. So I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Make sure you guys like it really helps on the channel. You know what I'm saying? If you support me, if you support the channel, if you like watching videos, you just came here to watch the video. Just make sure you leave a thumbs up on my channel and leave a comment. I appreciate it so I can get the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace. DC Crush. I'm out here trying to get it. I'm trying to get a check. Check out my wrist, check out my neck. Okay. These niggas really 